Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions for week 37. I can't believe that it's just literally just about two weeks left in this Premier League season. If you ask me way back in August whether we get through this season, obviously due to the pandemic there has been the odd bit of I'm not sure whether we're going to finish it, but look, finishing on looks is like for the 20 clubs. Obviously, there's some circumstances that's happened due to the previous results, which I'll talk to you about in this video, but there are lots to talk about, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Let's go. So, Norwich versus Burnley is the first game up. Norwich are all already relegated, so nothing to really play for. I know a lot of you lot spoke about when I put Norwich to win over Chelsea. Norwich didn't actually look that badly, I thought, anyway. But, you know, still lost 1-0. But I do think Norwich may deserve a point out of that game with the likes of how well they played. Burnley, on the other hand, really have got nothing to play for. But I'm going to stick up for Burnley win this time. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Burnley win. Next one is Bournemouth versus Southampton. Bournemouth must win games if they would still want to catch Brighton. After Brighton picking up a vital point against Southampton, who Bournemouth have got to go up against. Watching that Brighton Southampton game, if Southampton play anything like they did against Brighton, I think Southampton are going to win this one quite comfortably. And I'm going to go with that score line. And I'm going to go with a 3-0 Southampton win. My next one is Spurs versus Leicester. Spurs still fighting for that top four spot. Same with Leicester. Man United winning, I think, to Leicester out of the top four. Big game for both clubs. How do I call this one... I'm going to call this one a draw, I think, and go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Brighton versus Newcastle. If Brighton do pick up a point against Newcastle, then I'm actually safe anyway. Newcastle seems to be on a bit of a downer. Over the past few weeks, struggling to get their form together on what I've seen. So I'm going to easily stick up for a Brighton win. And I'm going to go for a 2 1 Brighton win. My next one is Sheffield United versus Everton. Sheffield United are still looking for European places, I think, but I don't think they're going to do it. Everton, on the other hand, draw into Villa with that late goal. I can't remember who scored it for Everton. But, you know, a vital point against Villa. As far as the game goes, I'm going to go for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. I don't know, I've just got a funny feeling that one now. It's going to be more in the middle of the park. My next one is Wolverhampton versus Crystal Palace. Wolverhampton can no longer get into the top four, I think. I think it's the top four anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong. Crystal Palace, I think they've done what they could do this season. They've got survival. That's mathematically, you know, done. But... I think Wolves might just edge this one, and I'll go for a 2-0 Wolves win. My next one is Watford versus Manchester City. Now, Watford, as I'm recording this, has still got to play West Ham. This game, I think, with the likes of what it means... I do see Watford getting a goal, but I think City will win this game three goals to one. My next one is Aston Villa versus Arsenal. Now, Aston Villa, yet again, they got to beat Arsenal. 
to even catch up with Brighton. If Bournemouth and Villa both fail to win, Brighton are mathematically safe. From a Brighton fan, that's a huge relief. But, going up against a very good Arsenal side. I know they've had their downers, and I can't remember who they played. Oh, it was one of Liverpool. Um, you know, beating Liverpool, I think Arsenal will do this one quite comfortably, and I'll go for a 3 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Manchester United versus West Ham. Man United beating Crystal Palace. West Ham, yet again, got to go up against Watford. This could play a big key in their survival hopes. With the likes of when West Ham at, where they like that, what Man United have done this season, you know, after, you know, a sticky start. I'm going to predict Man United to win this game, and I'm going to go for a 2 0 scoreline for that one. My last one for week 37 is Liverpool versus Chelsea. Liverpool are, you know, Premier League champions, fair enough. Can no longer do that points tally record, but I think they have really let themselves go after winning the title. But, you know, going up against a very good Chelsea side with the lights of fighting for the top four. I'm going to predict Chelsea to win this game. I know it's at Anfield, and apparently the uh, Premier League presentation is going to be done at Anfield. I hope it is, because even though the fans aren't allowed in, Liverpool deserve to lift it at their home ground. But I've still got to predict Chelsea to win this game, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.